Browsing the web can lead to a crazy amount of information in a pileup of your tabs, ranging from your favorite sites to just about anything you've searched for and may not need. So how are you to keep track? Well, Safari has some easy ways to manage tabs that you might not be aware of. This video will walk you through several methods of finding a Safari tab. And if you're looking for more information on creating Safari tab groups, I have a video for that and you'll find it in the description. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Method number one, view all your tabs. To view all your tabs in Safari, you'll just tap on Safari to open, and in the bottom right corner, you'll see the tabs option. Go ahead and click on that and you'll see all the tabs that have been opened on Safari. And at the bottom, you'll see that I have 43 tabs open right now. To close out a tab, you can just click on the X in the upper right corner. You can also open a tab by just clicking on it. And if you notice at the bottom of the tag will be the name of the tag, which is probably the name of the website or article. Method number two, search for a tab by name. Again, you'll want to open up Safari. You'll want to tap on the tabs option in the bottom right corner to come into a grid view of all of your tabs. If you then scroll to the very top of the grid view, the search tab options will appear. Click in that search tab, go ahead and begin typing either the name of the website or the article that you're searching for, and you'll see that that tab pops up. And if you click on it, it will take you into that particular website. Method number three, find recently closed Safari tabs. Maybe you've closed out some tabs and you'd like to get back to them. There's an easy way to do this. Inside of Safari, you'll click on the tab group option down in the bottom to come into grid view. Push and hold on the plus sign, and you'll see a list of all of your recently closed tabs will appear. Find the one that you need. Go ahead and click on it, and you'll be taken to that site. Method number four, find Safari tabs in a tab group. You can group your current browsing session and assign it a group name. This might make it easier to find certain things you're looking for in Safari. I have a separate video that teaches you how to create tab groups in Safari. You'll find it in the description of this video. So once you are in Safari, again, everything is about this tab group option. Go ahead and click on it. It brings you into your grid view. Click on the number of tabs that you have open down at the bottom. And here you'll come into tab groups. I only have two tab groups available right now, tech and vacations. I'm going to go ahead and click on vacations. And those particular websites that I've saved in that group will you know, appear. I can click on one of the thumbnails and it'll take me into that particular website. Method number five, easily navigate between next and previous tabs. If I place my finger on the address bar, I can swipe to the left to get to the previous tab. I can swipe to the right to get to the next tab. You can continue swiping back and forth to access each tab. Method number six, use the landscape tab bar to find tabs. The landscape tab bar is a macOS inspired edition that showed up in iOS 15. It looks very similar to Safari on a Mac. It displays all the tabs opened in your browsing session. You can see them here across the screen, making it easy for you to swipe through and look at all of the available tabs that are open.
To enable this feature, you'll need to come into the Settings app, scroll down until you come to Safari, tap on Safari, scroll to the Tab section, and make sure to toggle on the switch for Landscape Bar. The other thing that you'll want to check is to make sure that you don't have Orientation Lock turned on in Control Center. To locate that, you'll swipe down from the upper right corner to enter into your Control Center. And if this little lock option is red, you'll want to make sure to turn that option off so that when you turn your phone in landscape mode, the tab bar option will appear. Method number seven, find Safari tabs shared with you. The shared with you feature also came along with iOS 15 and is intended to help you locate content that was shared with you via iMessage, media like photos, music, podcasts, and even website links. To find a shared link, you'll open Safari, you'll tap on the tab groups in the bottom right corner, and now click on the plus sign to open up your start page, and you'll see a section called shared with you. And these will be all the websites that have been shared with you via iMessage. Just tap on one, to open that particular website. Method number eight, find Safari tabs from your home screen. So a neat little trick to find all of the tabs that you have uh, opened in a particular website session, all you need to do is push and hold on this back arrow. And when you do, all of the open websites that you have browsed during this particular session will appear. You can click on any one of them to get to that website. Method number nine, find tabs using all open web pages. I am pretty terrible about managing Safari tabs. I often have multiple tabs open, which makes it difficult to keep track of all of those web pages. Safari's address bar trick helps you quickly find those lost tabs. If you just place your finger in the address bar located down here and pull up, you'll see that you'll come into the grid view and you can quickly locate that lost tab, click on it and open that website. I hope you can find at least one method in this video that helps you with managing website tabs. Maybe several will apply. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.